It is with a heavy heart that the Nevada Justice Association recognizes one of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award recipients, William Patterson Pat Cashel. Sadly, this award must be given posthumously. Pat passed away last year, leaving a hole in our organization as he lived and embodied everything good and true that the NJA represents. Please join us in a moment of silence in honor of Pat Cashel. They don't come any better than Pat. Pat Casha was the best trial lawyer. He advocated for his clients. He was zealous. He put in long hours to make sure he was doing everything he could to do the best for his clients. Well, the personality is a plaintiff's lawyer. He's a true plaintiff's lawyer in my mind because he was always trying to remain sharp. He was always taking on challenges. He was just someone that was always there at continuing education, CFJ events, always the first person to respond, but I think the best thing, one of my favorite memories of him is probably one of the first CLEs I attended that he taught. He was so approachable. I mean, if you sent an email on the listserv that you were looking for help on something, he would call you and say, hey, I've done that before, I can help you with this. He and I shared a, a similar sense of humor, uh, a similar taste for good things in life and we certainly enjoyed them to the hilt. I, I quickly taught Pat that the only way that you could really convince people that they enjoyed eating wild duck was to make sure that plenty of alcohol was served prior to the dinner and that seemed to turn the trick and uh, and all the people that, that came to those duck dinners had a, had a great time. Fire! because he, he was always passionately at cooking, whether it was he was holding a party at the Coney Island or cooking lamb up at Gray Eagle. He was always there, present, and when he, he'd see the ladies, he'd always be full of fire, um, kidding them and telling them how beautiful they are. As you know, Dad was quite passionate about many things, but some of the things that come to mind very quickly are Notre Dame football, which I'm, if you knew him well, you knew he loved Notre Dame football. Extremely passionate about that. He also loved the state of Nevada. Loved everything about it. Loved the people, loved the territory, loved the terrain, uh, and loved uh, law, especially law in Nevada. Determined. Um, regardless of what Pat was doing, whether he was involved in our legislature, uh, planning the next trip for Jonna and his family, or litigating against a, an opponent. Uh, Pat was determined uh, to impose his will on whomever he was speaking with. Uh, Pat had a, a very strong sense of what he believed was fair and appropriate. Caring. Um, I think Pat's, uh, could, the word caring would define Pat. He cared about his clients, he cared about the citizens of Nevada. Uh, he, he cared and loved for his family so deeply. Uh, he gave of himself freely uh, to the people around him. Uh, so yeah, he cared about the people that touched him and that were close to him. Pat, I admired his friendliness and, and his willingness to laugh and smile, his radiating smile whenever you ran into him. And the next thing I would be talking to Pat about would be about people and uh, what's fair for people, and what's fair in politics. The first thing that comes to mind is dedicated, and I, I mean that as in dedicated to uh, our organization and our cause. There was no one that I know um, more than Pat that was dedicated to NJA and its cause. It was and will always be an honor uh, of working beside Pat Cashel. Um, the Cashel family gave us Pat for 30 years. Uh, and uh, there were late nights in Carson City, as we all know, and late nights at political fundraisers and tears uh, in assembly caucus rooms when bad legislation was passing. And uh, th through that all, John and his family supported what Pat believed in. I, I guess I would say he was just taken way too soon, um, but also that his legacy lives on 
there are those of us, you know, who strive to be like him, committed to NJA, its mission, its purpose, and to try and carry on, especially what he did at the legislature this year, we have felt his loss more than ever. I guess in, in sort of summing up to Jonna and Kate and John, uh, you've lost a husband, a father, a grandfather, and I have lost a very, very dear friend. And I think our community has lost a real productive member and a darn good lawyer. Also, I want to thank you all for this wonderful award for my dad. He would be elated, thankful. Uh, it really means the world to us. Thank you very much. Uh, from all the cash shows, uh, from the bottom of our heart, this means so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.